Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Shannon. We're, uh, we're here in Beaumont, Texas, and uh, we want to take you on the first garden tour of our uh, backyard garden of 2020. So it is May 9th. 9th? May 9th. And 21. so 2020, so we'll show you what we have going on in uh, Southeast Texas. How do I flip this, Mama? I can't flip the video? Okay, so what we have going on over here is we've got a trellis with cucumbers coming on, growing on it. Uh, there's a gate and pathway there. So you can see the cucumbers. We have 16 in a basket in uh, the house that we've picked in the last two days and I think we're gonna get a lot of cucumbers here for some time. Over here are our potato plants. First time doing potatoes. Unfortunately, we've had some caterpillars eating our plants. I've been picking them off, but uh, this week I was not paying attention and uh, they, got, they got us good. You got to stay on those caterpillars. Now, let's see if I can find one. I'll show you who's destroying my garden. Uh, so you got to stay on them. They will, they can eat. Little guys, they can eat a lot. Look at that. They just, they just tore it up. Uh, we got a strawberry patch over here. Um, haven't really been getting a lot of strawberries. I'll tell you. My view in Southeast Texas, we've struggled with the, the critters getting our, our fruit, but the plants look great. Uh, we had these in a raised bed on the other side of the garden earlier, and we moved them over here this year, and they turned out really nice. So we have a. squash and a pot over here that our friend Liz gave us. It's looking good. We think we need to take it out of that pot to give it a little more space. So its sister lives over here. I know. But uh, we planted this one in the ground and you can see we're starting to get some fruit. Um, Shannon uh, did come out and fertilize with a paintbrush. Um, we have some eggplant back here in the corner. It's coming along nice. Our uh, jalapenos are looking good. This is the only one that survived that we planted from seed. These are all uh, store-bought and they, they look good, but they're not as tall as that one. And then we've got all of our tomatoes. We did some, I would say some heavy pruning yeah. today. Uh, to open up the air, there was just a lot here. You can see we've got a lot of tomatoes in here. We got some little little guys there. We got these pretty round ones here. Um, we got a couple back there. Uh, we got some. These I think better boys. Better boys, yeah, are uh, gonna be ready to turn. And I think these little ladybug. Tomatoes, let's see if we can point. Ah, here we go. They grow out on this little stem like that. I think these are so cute. So these are gonna be little tomatoes. We'll see how those how those turn out. Uh, we've got a couple of those uh, going back here. So um, the green beans have been producing uh, a lot of fruit for us. Um, yeah, you can see some good looking beans. So five or six uh, plants over here, um, just on, a on these these couple of trellises that we put together, laid up against the shed. Um, so this is pretty exciting for us. First time ever planting sunflowers, and I don't know if you can see. Shane, go stand over by that. If you see how tall these, these are in a bit of a raised bed, but. Holy Christmas, and that, that tall one still hasn't gotten ahead yet. It's not turned towards the sun. So we're excited about that. But uh, 
Uh, we've had this one just opened up yesterday. yesterday. And then this guy's been out for a couple of, uh, a week or so, and he's starting to look a little, a little weak. And then we've got our zinnias down here looking nice. Uh, oh, we didn't even show our uh, our marigolds. So we've got a bunch of marigolds down in here, uh, planted near our tomatoes. And somebody said we should plant them in with our tomatoes. We didn't do that this year. We planted tomatoes over here and marigolds. Next year we may actually have the marigolds interspersed and maybe give a little more space for our tomatoes. I think I, I think I crowded my tomatoes a little bit. Uh, onions coming in here. They're looking really nice. Um, down in here, you can kind of see the, how big they are. They just look, they look really good. Uh, I'm excited about that. So we'll let those grow. I think we got a couple leaks. I got a leak there and a leak here. Um, I really did not think the leaks were going to survive. Didn't give them much of a chance. Um, but we might have to be a little more patient. I might have. I may have planted those leeks early, and that may be why they didn't, didn't do well. All right, over here, we've got uh, our Tabasco peppers, and uh, you can start to see maybe over on this one. Oh, there we go. We got some, some peppers coming in. Oh, we got, yeah, we got some good looking ones here, don't we? So we got some Tabascos coming in. We did these in pots last year, actually in these pots, and I um, think that stunted the growth a little bit, so we gave them a, a, a bigger box to grow in. These four tomatoes were just um, suckers that we clipped off, and we just uh, threw in some water and they rooted. We brought them out, what, two weeks ago? Then uh, on a warm day and stuck them in the dirt and came out that night and they looked like they wanted to die. The next day they looked like they wanted to die. Then we had some rain come through. Uh, came out a couple days later and I said, hold on, hold on. These actually look like they're still alive. So we've got four uh, Tabasco pepper plants and, uh, and we've got way too many tomatoes. So we, we need to, I don't know what we'll do with all these tomatoes. Then back here, We've got uh, some more marigolds. Uh, Shannon's got some ferns, uh, some herbs down in this basket. And then over here, we just have a collection of flowers. And what, what is this vine? And maybe some oregano down in here. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is something. I think it's a chocolate mint. We don't know what it is. It's, it's a type of mint, I, but it's not. Yeah, it's a mint. This is the oregano. All right. Oregano and some mint. And uh, Shannon made these lovely uh, well. blue and orange owls this year. Um, those were a gift from her uh, great aunt and we painted them. And then you can see all the way down the fence line, you can see um, the muscadine grapes. And so we come in here. We're starting to get uh, some buds there, and then over here, you start to see some great clusters. So these are these are muscadines. So they they uh, uh, they're not bunch grapes. They they come in little clusters, uh, and most of these will fall off, and you'll get a handful of you know eight to ten grapes will come in that that little bunch there. So. Um, Garden is looking nice. Uh, we're pretty excited about it this year. All these raised beds and that fence and the arbor and everything are new this year. It's so pretty excited about it. All right, so uh, thanks for joining us on our first garden tour of uh, 2020. Uh, inspired by Roots and Refuge Farm, so we just thought we'd give a shout out to them. Uh, we do enjoy watching their videos on gardening and helps inspire this uh, this garden here. So, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Are you recording?